This is unacceptable. I have no iron. Look at my gold pile. Well, oh, never mind. I have some gold in here. Oh, there's some. This is embarrassing. I can't let anyone see this. But welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our Let's Play. We're here in the new vault. We built it a while ago now. But I have another door right here. And I think this is going to be the door that's going to house all of my armor in the world. I know I have an army built into my house, but we got to cut down the lag over there. And I have a feeling having a bunch of armor stands up everywhere holding different armor pieces is going to make it kind of laggy. <laughs> so I'm going to build a piston door right here. I'm going to make a nice display room just holding a lot of different armor. Why not, you know? Why not? It's Minecraft. So I'm not going to put enchanted gear in here. This is where unenchanted gear is going to go, such as diamond and netherite gear that I might need in the future to repair stuff. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, snap crackle. I actually noticed I have no diamonds left at home. I probably have like eight over there. No, I have 13 in here. That means these are the last bit of my diamonds. Dang. I got to admit, though, it has been a long time since we've gone mining. And I think we're going to do that here pretty soon. Uh, I still got to get off the beta, though. I'm just... I have this weird feeling about going out exploring right now with all the changes. And we just got out of a rough patch, so I think I'm just too scared. There we are. That'll do. I just want a small room like this to put the simple things in here that are also high value, such as another right block. Ooh. Does that have its own unique sound? I think it does. I wish we had, honestly, I really do wish we had more metal blocks in this game. With that sound right there, even when you walk on it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, just have some ingots displayed, tools, fresh set of armor, some more rare items. I think I have two of these in this world right now. I'm going to put, obviously, one in here. And I'm going to add a piston door here. But we're going back to the office. We got to talk. Ah, delicious. Now, if I know one thing in this world, it is that I have two main projects. And you could agree. That is my house and the lab. Now, these are big scale projects. Other projects that you might think are big are the mansion, the museum, or even the castle we just built last episode. But we know for a fact it's been a very long time since we've started a new project that could still be worked on within the span of 100 episodes. And I think that changes today. We are starting on the Slime Ranch. Now, what is the Slime Ranch? I think, or I know, this is going to be the place where we obviously breed horses. And we're going to try to get one of the best horses in the game. And it's also going to be a place... Wow, my render distance is low. And it's also going to be a place where we can do more large-scale farming, perhaps. Or anything involved with land cultivation, such as, well, the lumber mill. So if we keep looking at our world from up here... We have this whole mountain area dedicated to the lab. And of course, these planes right here dedicated to my house. And I couldn't have think of a better place, honestly, that's nearby walking distance than right here. So for the next, I don't know how long this is going to take. Of course, rains. <laughs> I'm going to deforest this whole forest right here. I'm going to take down this. And there's a pretty big mountain right here, too. I'm going to have to take down and flatten down all of this. And all of this land is going to be turned into the slime ranch. And I have some pretty cool ideas for this. There's no better time to get started than now, so let's get started. It's one way to do it, right? Trust me, you should see how much I've cut down, and I was barely making a dent. So, I cut down all of this section right here, and I have loads of wood. And I've got to cut down all of this, so I'm resorting to burning it down. It's probably going to make even more of a mess. I mean, look, for example. Well, that's just the oak wood. And then, of course, it's got the dark oak up here. I'm just going to keep burning it and see how much work I can do with it. Oh, this is a nightmare. When you want a forest to burn very badly, it never happens. And when you don't want it to happen, it just destroys the whole world. <laughs> the scary thing is, is once all this is cut down, I have a lot 
of terraforming to do. Oh my god, I have to get rid of all these mountains. I want it to be all flat. I mean, we're gonna have a giant ranch here. It's gonna take time, but it'll be worth it. I think it's safe to say a lot of work has been going down. <laughs> this, this, by the way, took all day. That's why this episode's kind of late. If you're kind of confused on where things used to be, um, right here is where that castle front was, right here. Yeah, I took it down. Um, I'm almost done, almost. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done, such as getting rid of these hills right here of all stone and then flattening it. I'm not gonna flatten it completely flat, but it would make sense for a ranch, but I'll probably have like a few elevated levels, about one or two blocks tall. Get rid of these leftover trees here. And then this whole area will be our ranch building ground. I'm so excited, you have no idea. Just gotta keep landscaping. Back to work. So we're not having trees here now. So with all this stone, there's no way I'm breaking this all away with just a normal pick. <laughs> I'm definitely putting a beacon down. All grass. Wow. It grew over pretty quick. Can you believe that this is where that Witcher style castle squirrels building was at and all that forest. We're not done yet though. This is pretty big, I know, but I want this ranch to be very big and I'm gonna go all the way, well, maybe to this water, I'm not sure. As you can see, I got kind of lazy. I'm not <laughs> filling, I mean, that would be a lot of dirt to fill in right there and I'm already almost out of dirt here. So I'm kind of doing this layer over it. Um, I'm gonna slowly start dropping it down to like around here. But good Lord guys, why'd you let me do this? This is taking forever. <laughs> But it's all gonna be worth it. I'm not going crazy, you're going crazy. I'm not going crazy, you're going crazy. You're crazy, not me. All right, let's see how much of this changes. So, yeah, just all this right here. There's a little bit of forest left right here. I might get rid of that. Whoa. All right, that's all the land we have. I'm probably gonna get rid of that little patch right there. I got rid of more trees than I thought I would. Now the fun part begins. So I am going to be building a track, like an oval track. And this is mainly going to be used to, of course, test horses. I think I'm gonna decide where to put that first before I start building all the barns and different silos. I'm just glad this part is over. <laughs> you probably thought that was a decent amount of wood the last I showed you. You thought. I think we're set for a while. So wood blocks, there's some. Some wood. See, that's a lot to me. But then I also had to fill that with dark oak. <laughs> oh wait, I'm not done. We got all this too. All from that little forest you saw. I know the dark oak trees though, they give you so, they give you like half a stack from one tree almost. Yikes. Okay, well, I'm already burnt out from working over there, but I gotta, I'm gonna go lay out the track real quick. See where exactly I want it. I wanna sleep in this bed. It's been a bit. Good morning, Pee Wee. How's this doing? Garbage, because I've been playing on Peaceful the whole time. <laughs> Hear me out though. With the amount of mining and running and sprinting and all that, I would have easily been through at least five stacks of food by now. Okay, I think that is where the horse track is gonna go. Um, I'm gonna have obstacles on it. I think it's big enough. Yeah, you can control a horse pretty well through here. So at some points right here, we're gonna have jumping obstacles. Um, this isn't gonna be a timed track. This is mainly going to be an obstacle track. So I'm gonna have different heights. I mean, we can time it if we want, but now they have the location of this, I'm gonna decide where to put the barns. We do have some new donors, Shana Wine, Tegan Anderson and Mario Pizer, Pizer, how have you say that? And you guys got on the wall here. I do have an idea, by the way, for those donators right there. I appreciate them all, by the way. I don't like putting some people over others just because they donated more, but I have to figure out some way to do this. And I read all your messages when you guys donate as well. In last episode, we were talking about having certain builds for these people, but I'm thinking that might be a little bit more difficult than it should be. What I'm thinking is, is wherever I decide to do this, I was thinking about the lab, 
when we get all of the villagers in there, I'm going to turn all of those people into doctors <laughs> and see how long they survive. And when they die, we'll obviously put them in the morgue or a graveyard. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you all for your donations. You can obviously still donate any amount you want to help out the channel. But for now on, the ones who make it up on the donation wall will be turned into a villager in this world. I think that would be quite interesting, to be honest. All right. Um, come here, Betty. Betty Boop. This is our fastest horse in this world. And it has a really good jump and has good hearts, too. Here's the track. This is kind of my idea so far. It's a little hard to run. I'm not going to lie. You have to time it just right sometimes. This one's kind of hard right here. Uh, oh, I did it. Okay. I think I want to put something on this turn. But right around here, I just got a little juking area. Ooh. And then this one, oh, you have to time. Well, I kind of did it. I kind of ramped up on it. You have to time it just right. This is about length. Oh, there we go. Ooh. I messed up. Yeah, I'm going to do a lot more designing for this. Can I just go under this? Oh. <laughs> but I think I want the horse stables for this place to be like right here. We're gonna have a lot of different barns for different purposes over here. Well, I'd hate to be a Mr. Poopy Butthole, but I got to end it here. I've worked so hard on this, and I was just about to tell myself, all right, I can upload this tomorrow. And get like a little bit more work done, but I, told, I can't. I gotta upload this now. <laughs> it's already been seven days since my last upload. I've spent two days working on this, and I just, I mean, we did a lot of landscaping. We didn't really do much building, but the landscaping is just as much as the building is. Trust me. So this episode might be a little bit shorter than I... Well, my episodes have been getting real shorter all the time. I don't even have a duration I prefer anymore. I just... Whatever. <laughs> From the Dagonator 200. How do you make your thumbnails? I get this question all the time. It's really... Like, it's kind of the same since I have started the channel. Mainly because I still use this one app. But how will I do it now exactly? If you want to make the thumbnail you saw on this episode, perhaps... I'm on a Windows computer, so I hit Windows G and it brings up the game bar, but I also press F1 and F5 and I position myself in front of a build. I usually take my armor off and then I press Windows G, it brings up the game bar and then you can hit capture. Screenshot. <laughs> then I take that screenshot, I bring it into Photoshop and I crop it to about where I want. I guess I could make a video about this sometime. And then I get the quick selection tool, and I always select the sky. I don't select anything else, but just the sky and the clouds, and then I enhance it greatly. Um, now the thing about thumbnails is, look at every popular YouTuber right now, Minecraft YouTuber, and look at their thumbnails. If you took a boring screenshot and just put that as your thumbnail, it's going to look so dull compared to everyone else's. So. For example, I select the sky and I enhance it greatly. I turn up that contrast and make the clouds white as possible and make that sky as blue as possible. And sometimes I add in a little lens flare to make it look like the sun is shooting flares across my thumbnail. And then I select the inverse and that selects everything that's not the sky. And then I just turn up the brightness and contrast on that to enhance the colors. And then I email that to my phone. Then I load it into an app called Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. And that is where I do the episode and then the number. And then I save that to my camera roll. And then I use this app called Facetune. And when I bring that in there, that makes it where it, it like decreases the file size so I can email it and upload it to YouTube because YouTube requires a certain size thumbnail. But I also, while it's in that app, I use this sharpening tool where I just, you just rub your finger across areas of the thumbnail and it like creates more detail in the picture. Um, yeah, and that's mainly about... No, wait, no. I use this other app called Snapseed. That's where I enhance the colors even more on my phone before I do it. I do, it goes through a lot of different phases, but I do it all to get that right color and make it look better than the game actually does. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.